while back I had asked on Snapchat if anybody would be interested in seeing some of my favorite kitchen gadgets, which seems totally random and seems totally like seriously, but every time I film any kind of videos in my kitchen, whether it's recipes or just what I eat in a day, my videos and on Snapchat, I get an overwhelming amount of questions about I like that pan, where I got those measuring cups, what I use to do, whatever. And so I thought this might be a good idea and then when I asked about it, so many of you said yes, yes, yes. So here we are. I have all of my favorite little tools and things lined up. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite gadgets, some of my favorite things that I have to have in my kitchen. And I'm also gonna tell you where some of my stuff is from because like I said, I often get asked when I have them shown in videos. So I guess we'll start with my most favorite. You know you're old or getting old when your channel goes from like beauty videos to favorite kitchen gadgets. We're all growing up together, right? This is probably my number one. I had to mention this. This is just a little mini food processor and I've had this forever. I got it from Groupon. I think it was $20, $19.99. It's by the brand Cuisine Art and I've definitely seen this in Bed Bath & Beyond and other places like that. But I love this little guy and I use it for everything. Primarily the thing I probably use it the most for is my breadcrumbs, which I know I need to film that video. I do make my own breadcrumb concoction. I do that often. This is where the base of my breadcrumbs start. My garlic, my parsley. Love this for chopping up garlic. I also make my hummus in this. I've made salsa in it. This is always a must have. So Definitely this little guy was like the best $20 I ever spent. Speaking of garlic, this is just a garlic press. I don't even know where this is from, but I just wanted to mention the convenience of having a garlic press. I love garlic and I put it in a lot of stuff, but I hate how the smell does not leave my hands. So I don't like chopping it a lot of times and this is a lifesaver. So I just put the cloves in here and I crush it. You can find these everywhere, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Crate and Barrel but I love it because it's quick and I just put it in there and I just crush it right into my pan, pot or dish or whatever and it's super easy and it keeps my hands from smelling like garlic for two days. These knives, these knives I get asked about all the time. I got these from Home Goods, Marshalls years and years and years ago and they're probably my most used. I bought them honestly because they were pink. Little did I know how much I would really be using these and not a day goes by that I don't use these. I've used these for my veggies, which I often cut up, my apples, my fruit, I used it for chicken. I've never had to sharpen these and they still cut amazingly. The brand is Pure Kamachi and they are high carbon stainless steel. I know they come in a lot of different colors. I of course got the pink, but I got them at Marshalls and I absolutely love them. This little thing I picked up at Target, it's just a little juicer. I actually need to get another one because it chipped, but I haven't gotten rid of it because of how much I use it. We do lemons, lemon juice a lot on salads and dressings, limes and guacamole, and I just love the convenience of taking a half and squeezing it. Fresh squeezed orange juice, this is great. I do have one of those presses too, but I just enjoy using this a lot better because it's just easy and it's easy to clean and I can throw it in my dishwasher and you just pour the juice right out of here. And again, you could find these everywhere. Target seems to always have seasonal colors so they're always changing and I usually can find them on the end caps in their home section, but I love this little thing. Never thought I would use it as much as I did, again, but I do. This is amazing, especially if you have little ones that love to eat bananas. I actually bought this after I went to have a crepe one day with one of my girlfriends and they were using one of these. It's a banana slicer. You just put the banana in here, press down, and it slices them into perfectly even little slices. I know it's super gimmicky and you could just slice a banana, but if you wanna avoid using a knife and get your slices perfect for a pie or something like that, this is great. And I just got it off of Amazon. So easy. My apple core slicer, this is from Pampered Chef. It's a stainless steel one that I've also had forever and I've seen this everywhere. But this is how I core my apples. I don't just love it for the fact that it slices them evenly, but it also cores the middle and the seeds. I don't ever cut up apples. I might chop them from the slices, but when I'm making things like apple pies or just cutting up an apple as a snack, this is what I use and it's super easy to clean and I absolutely love it. Okay, my cookie scoop. 
ice cream scoop. This is life changing. I got this from Pampered Chef. I have three different sizes, but this is probably the most common one. And I love this especially for baking cookies because every single cookie turns out to be the same size. Growing up when I would bake with my mom, and even to this day, she doesn't have one of these. She just uses the good old two teaspoons. I also use this for cupcakes, the bigger one and muffins, so everything is so evenly done. Super fast too, a lot of times if I'm making a big batch of cookie dough, I oftentimes freeze them individually and then put them in a Ziploc bag and I could just go. And I don't need to have them spaced out on the pan, I just scoop and go and scoop and go. And it's great, you can also use this as a melon baller for watermelon or fruits, but I absolutely love this for baking. This little colander, I picked this up on Groupon and I love this for washing Little things like blueberries or grapes or draining chickpeas or black beans. For this, I would just have the little hand one that's behind me, but this one I just find easier to clean. Sometimes can be really hard to clean this kind of mesh. This one is just a lot easier to clean. So, love having this. The other ones that I have, medium size and then a larger size, and I just love this. Something I often get asked about when I have it in my video, this is a red copper pan. And this was actually a Christmas gift from my mom and dad. And again, you know you're getting older when you get really excited for a pan. But, let me tell you about the red copper pan. So my mom watched the infomercial. My mom is like the biggest sucker when it comes to infomercials. She will just buy whatever they're selling on TV. Of course comes with a manual showing you all different recipes and things that you can make, but for me, I use it for everything. I can make my chili in there. You saw it in the one video when I added, when I had all my veggies and I added my pasta. You can actually boil pasta. It comes with a drain basket and a steamer. I know when this baby's born and I'm gonna make his food like I did for Addison, I'm gonna use the basket steamer a ton for vegetables. And I also have grilled chicken in there. I grill my fish, salmon done turkey burger. I do everything. And not only does it cook the food really well and I can use it for all kinds of different foods, but it cleans so easily. Even for things like chicken where the bottom gets kind of brown, if you just either clean it right away or leave a little dish soap and water in it to soak, it literally wipes clean. It also doesn't scratch. My mom is actually in the process right now of converting all of her pots and pans to red copper pots and pans because she loves them that much. My pots and pans are not that old so I will not be converting my entire collection of them, but Honestly, when I'm cooking, that's usually the pan that I reach for, regardless of what I'm making. It's one of those things where the infomercial led to be true. Okay, this cutting board is from Crate and Barrel. It's another thing that I get asked about a lot. And I love this for a couple different things. Obviously, I love it for chopping, especially when I make my meals, like the HelloFresh meals, and I have a lot of stuff. I'm making a big salad. I can pretty much fit everything on here. I'm not having to chop and then put it aside. Like, I can pretty much fit everything on here. I love that it's wood. I don't ever use this for raw chicken or anything like that. I obviously love it for the functionality of it, but also as a serving platter when I have guests over, if I wanna cut up cheese and grapes, it serves as a really pretty serving platter. And I just love it. I think if you invest in a good, just one good cutting wood cutting board, that's really all you need. I do have uh, plastic white ones that I use for my meats, but that one is great. And I, again, use it pretty much every day. Lunch, sometimes dinner, sometimes both, just depending on what I'm doing. But I like that it's big enough that I could chop everything and keep everything and then just keep adding to the stove as I need. It also is a really pretty, Platter. And I wanted to just share with you some of the things that I have and get asked about a lot. My measuring spoons and cups, they're really pretty gold. I got these from Target. Not sure if they were like a limited edition, part of a collection type thing. They're by the Threshold brand, so, and I think that's like a permanent line in their store. So these are from Target. I also have the little ramekin bowls, and these I always get in the Target dollar spot. They're really cute. A lot of times if I have leftover veggies or chickpeas or strawberries, blueberries, or to give Addie snacks in, I use these. As I've said in other videos, I really try to avoid plastic if I don't have to have plastic. So a lot of times when I'm giving her a snack like apple slices, blueberries, goldfish, this is what I use. I think I got two for a pack of three, two in a pack for three dollars. It's Target dollar spot and I do often see them there. So that's where these are from. My favorite bowls are the latte bowls from Anthropology. 
I love the cream colored ones, but they have these in a ton of different colors. They're just super easy to clean, very affordable, throw them in the dishwasher, really sleek and pretty in the kitchen. And all of my plateware, which I do often get asked about, is from Crate and Barrel, all the squares. Pretty basic. One that I forgot to pull out were these, and I call these my pasta bowls. These are from Pier 1, and I do serve pasta in here. A lot of times my salads I put in here. I like how wide they are. Obviously, I wouldn't use this for a cereal bowl. I would use this, but for shrimp pasta or any kind of pasta, I just love this. Anything with juice that I don't want dripping off of a plate, I use these for. This I get asked about oftentimes. This is my salt. I don't have a salt shaker. This is what I use. It's a little bamboo container where the top just swivels off and I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I obviously salt and pepper pretty much everything when I'm cooking. This is just what I use. I keep my coarse sea salt and I sprinkle it on and people always think I'm crazy that I don't have a salt shaker but this is just what I use. And the last thing I'm gonna just talk about is my utensil crock which I've also had questions about. And this, a subscriber told me about, and I got it from Amazon, it's under $30, but I was trying to find a sleek white one, and I think I ended up buying like three or four of them between Home Goods and Target, and I think I asked on, on Snapchat, and then that's when she told me about this one, which I ended up getting, and I love it, it has little feet. I love that it's not super wide, but it fits everything that I need, and it looks really pretty on the counter. The thing I didn't talk about in this video is my KitchenAid. I feel like that is just assumed to be the number one kitchen appliance for everyone, and it's how I do all my baking. So obviously there's that. It's in my corner on the counter. Too big to show you in the video, but I think, like I said, everybody's got one at this point. And finally, these are by the brand Pyrex, and I found these on Amazon, but you can get these at Target. You can also get these at Macy's and department stores like that. I got them in a set of four, largest to smallest, and I love them. They're just basic glass bowls, but I do mixing, baking, storing. They all come with their own size lid. That is it. Those are all of my favorite kitchen gadgets, favorite kitchen utensils, things that I rely on, love, and swear by. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video and picked up some good tips, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.